Welcome back to another episode of Legally Distinct Jeopardy Parody Yu-Gi-Oh! Edition. Today we are back with Simo. So Joseph, I don't know if you know this, but living in Las Vegas, uh, I hit up my boy James Holzauer. We went into the hyperbolic time chamber and uh, we're ready to kick some ass. If that's true, you are literally going to clean these people's clocks. <laughs> I've actually, the Holzauer run is now on Pluto.tv, not sponsored by the way. Um, and really, if anyone wants to watch maybe the greatest Jeopardy ever played since Jennings, it's really fucking crazy what he can accomplish. Peeps is here, too. Hi, Peeps. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi, Peeps. It's Peeps. Uh, I will not break toss this stream. <laughs> I, don't, I told him not to. I said please don't. <laughs> and then uh, our returning champion for the third time in a row, Distant Coder, with a two-day total of 15,300 points. Do you mean dollars? Can I cash those out? No, I, that's why they're points. I just want to make sure everyone here and at home is familiar with the rules of Jeopardy since this seems to keep happening. What we're going to do is these five categories each have five point values associated with them. Uh, one of the individuals uh, who is in control of the board will pick one of these point values and will get an answer. They will respond in the form of a question with the question that answers that answer and then we will just we'll all just have a gay old time together all right i mean i, I know how to play this <laughs> i understand that it's an, a simple concept but i mean if you've watched the other two you know how listen three letter words is on this first board so you know keep oh, that terrifying. in mind clear the buzzers and then first one in is going to get control of the board ready three two okay. one all right coder it is your board we've got Ooh. 12 star synchros each answer is a 12 star synchro rogue decks Tubers, no Yugi. I am going to give you the title of a big you or big YouTuber's Yu-Gi-Oh video. You're going to tell me the name of that YouTuber, three-letter words, and before and after. Everyone's familiar with before and after. I'm going to start with twelve star synchros for one hundred. All right. Though he's the boss of the Math Mech monsters, he's often subtracted from their extra. Peeps. What is Geo Math Mech Final Sigma? That is correct. That's 100 points, and you have control of the board. Dumbest so one, first points. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's do let's do rogue decks for 100. All right, rogue decks for 100. Kashtira may be strong now, but it spent its first wave filling space with a ton of miserable rank 7 enablers, including this level 2 psychic monster. Maybe don't emergency teleport this one. Coder. What is psychic beast? That is incorrect. Peeps? Huh? What is Psy Beast? That is correct. Yes. It's the same thing! Psychic oh Beast, God. Psy Beast, that is two different things. Like, it's clearly the, it's different the same. things. It's the oh, same. Peeps, back Man. on the board. Rogue decks for two, baby. Let's keep it going. All right. Widely expected to be rogue playable at best. This archetype had the third most tops this weekend. I guess it still got the dog in it after all. Peeps? What is Unchained? That is correct. I hate you. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, buddy. I love stealing that one from you. Let's Peeps, go. where latency. are we going? <laughs> <laughs> the maple leaf latency. Uh, I'll give a, I'll do rogue decks for 300, please. All right, here we go. The beginning of 2018 was dominated by Pendulum. Though 99% of it was Pendulum Magician, this archetype also snagged a few tops. Sometimes you just pended twice. Alex. What is Zephra? That is correct. Oh, and good job, Alex. History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Coming in clutch, baby! <laughs> We're oh, about yeah. to film this episode, by the way. We're literally <laughs> about to film this. Yeah, so it's kind of cheating. I'm not going to lie. It's a little cheating. Uh, where are we going, buddy? Uh, let's let's keep it going. Rogue decks for four. Block BA wasn't the first combo deck to mostly play Earth Monsters. The tradition heralds back to Goat Era, when a well-timed magical merchant could reward you with this mega monster. <laughs> Peeps. What is Mega Rock Dragon? That is correct. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and back so to the board. Good. Oh, wow. I can't believe I got that one. Okay, uh, Rogue Decks for five. All right. It's hard to remember anything but the top three in Dragon Ruler format, but this sweet deck was the only non-ruler, non-prophecy, non-evil swarm list at 2013 Worlds. Coder. What is Madolce? That is correct. Oh. Uh Let's go! And you are too. out of the I hole. 12 star synchros for two, please. All right. Let's be back in this. The cover card of Duelist Nexus. This monster is not much better than its D trains. Coder. What is Crimson Dragon? No. Buzzer's back open. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Uh, this is Cosmic Quasar yeah. Dragon. Mm. I knew it was some quasar. I, knew it. I just didn't know which one. <laughs> some kind of I bullshit. Didn't, I didn't know the name. All right, I so Coder, you, you are you are back in, in control. Set. I'll go for three hundred, please. This dinosaur has done a lot of evolution since its humble beginnings as a vanilla. Um, 
God. Coder. What is Transcendosaurus Glaciosaurus? That is correct. Nice. I should have gotten that one, too. Yeah, you okay. really should have. Back to Coder. I know. <laughs> uh, I'll, go, I'll go for four, please. All right. Duelists have options for 12-star synchros after activating Super Heavy Samurai Waka Ushi's effect to summon from the deck. But despite its higher defense, they'll almost never pick this one. <laughs> Coder. What is Super Heavy Samurai Brave Masurawo? Ra -wo. That is incorrect. Anyone else want in? Shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Surprised to see you didn't get it, peeps. It is Super Heavy Samurai Steam it's a Train. train. I'm going to go 500 because I feel like I know what you're going to throw at me. All right, right. This is the daily oh. double. Wow. Okay, can so I, here's the I, deal. Can I bet more than one? Or? Yeah, so you are at 100, but for the daily double, you can bet up to 1,000. Oh. All in, baby, a true daily double. Here it is. I'm going to paste it in the actual chat because I know you're a baby who has to read it. Yeah, I, I have to read it. I'm going to give you 10 seconds on this after I stop saying it. This okay. monster's early appearance in Duel Links had many players asking themselves, why don't we play him? Time starts now. What is... Uh, what is, what is Bish Balkan? That is incorrect, Coder. Why don't we play the Assault Blackwing Onibi Maru, the Divine Thunder? And you were going to go down to minus 900 there. Ooh, yeah, Though fine. somehow still in control of the board. Well, I'll go through that words for 100. While not much of an archetype name, Jack Atlas's monsters frequently share this name. Alex? Red Dra what is Red Dragon Archfiend? No, can't give it to you. Coder? Uh, what is red? Yeah, three letter yeah. words. Oh, it's three letter words, not three letter answers. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> uh, back to Coder. Oh, well. 200, please. This capitalized prefix will leave you groaning if your opponent activates this limited hand trap. Coder. Oh, uh, sorry. Limited? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyone else want to try? All right, answer to this oh, one God. was... Oh, can Alex? I, can I run it back? What is Psy? That is correct. Oh! <laughs> and I forgot. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. I'm in I'm in the I'm in the game now. I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. Alex, it took, me got two, took me two, but I got that. He's been in the lead since like the second question. By anyway, answering three nothing. letter words for 300. <laughs> All right. Snipe Hunter peeps at his gun on the artwork of this continuous trap. He can't believe you hit that. Coder. What is six? That is correct. That's six. And where are we going? Uh, 400. This body part features on two monsters with the same name. The one resides in the extra deck while the other is trapped in the main. And that is going to be time. It is an eye. Big eye. Two different monsters oh, named Big Eye. It, 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 I was okay. thinking arm, like armory arm. Leather. Big I'm arm. Sure there's a card that says arm in the fucking in, in the main deck. Uh, Coder, where, where are we, are we going? going? For 500. Yeah, I'm right. for five. Goat Format's premier trap negating fusion is mostly made with metamorphosis, meaning you're unlikely to encounter this spiritual material. Coder. Ryu Senshi? No, peeps. What is what is Ryu? Yes, three letter words, three no. letter words. <laughs> Woo! So upset. <laughs> Peeps, where are we going? Let's do before and after for 100. Branded Fusion's enemy, Branded Fusion's searcher. All right, truth be told, I this was the hardest 100 on the board. It is Ash Blossom and Joyous oh, yeah. Springans Kit. Oh my uh, yeah, God. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's yeah, hard. Okay. Yeah. That one's hard. Run All it right. back, Peeps. Yeah, 200, please. Yuma's catchphrase, Odd Eyes' Playmaker. Peeps. High five the sky iris. Yeah. What is high five the sky iris? <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, I can't Thank give it to God. you like that, buddy. <laughs> yeah. uh, 300, please. Chaz's Caucasian ace, Alex's progression ace. Three, two, one. Got to call it. It is armed dragon level 10 yeah. white magical hat. Yeah. <laughs> it was the yeah, chaz's ace. That's clever. Let's Peeps, where are we going? Four. Run it for four. An indestructible ghoul. An incomprehensible stat line. Peeps. What is Spirit Reaper of the Cards? That is correct. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. How is Spirit Reaper a ghoul? How? Literally, oh, he's how? a ghoul. He's a ghoul. This, he's oh. a, he's not this a man has never seen a ghoul. Holy You've probably shit. never seen a goblin. You've never seen a gnome. Bro, You've never I seen play a... Dungeons and Dragons a lot. <laughs> All, All right, right. Peeps, give me that for five. Let's go. Both players banished to one. One player banishes the one. 
All right, this one's fucking impossible. I'm sorry. No. Uh, that's gonna be evenly matched. Kashtira no, even Big Bang Shot. Yeah, there was. Oh, geez. Someone in no chat way. got it. Shouts out to Mantis two four five one three. But wow, yeah, I, I didn't think Jesus anyone else would. Christ. Yeah. All right, peeps, we going to tubers? Yeah, let's start with one. All right. Fuck, man. Why was Yu-Gi-Oh so awesome? And what happened to it? Coder. Uh, who is the act man? That is correct. Where are we going next? <laughs> uh, two, please. I forced Yugi or YouTubers to compete in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Coder. Who is Ludwig? Yes, that is correct. He's slowly clawing his way out. Yeah, I gotta do it, bro. Three, please. The highest recorded IQ in human history. Uh. Two, one. Gotta call it. That is Penguinzo or Critical. Charlie? Yeah. I did not know Charlie posted this. Okay, I'll go for I started the Yu-Gi-Oh! meta by monologuing for hours. Category's hard because I go outside. <laughs> Same. I actually don't watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, <laughs> I know you watch oh. Iron Man's on. Okay, well, Coder, you you, you buzzed. What are we doing? It's, it's who is Saikuno? It is Saikuno. You are correct. Yeah. It's funny. I thought it was Saikuno or, or Fusely, so. I I'll go I five. Just... I'll go five. Yo, can I get to neutral? I got coached by Team Samurai X1 and learned his game ending Blue Eyes deck. Coder. Who is Fusley? That is correct. And you are back zero. to zero. zero. So you're in it. <laughs> so you are, you are going to be playing first in double jeopardy after the commercial break. We are <laughs> back with the comeback. second half of legally distinct Yu-Gi-Oh! Jeopardy. It's time for Double Jeopardy. The point values are doubled. There are two daily doubles on this board. Our new categories are Progression Series Ripoffs, The Bible, Judge Call, Earth Machines, and Most Expensive. I will tell you a world's deck, and you will tell me the most expensive card in the main. Judge Call, Schmudge Call. You said 200? Yes, please. <laughs> Judge, I don't understand. How can four different cards all share a name with this field spell? Coder. What is Umi? Yes, that is correct. Where are we going? 400. We're going to get smoked, peeps. <laughs> no, no, I'm in this. Judge, I can't verify if my opponents use the effect of this pre-errata monster already. After all, they shuffled it back into the deck. Three, two, one. Coder. What is Twin-Headed Behemoth? That is correct. Oh, okay, go for six. Judge, I watched a ton of YouTube videos. Can you ex please explain why they can still pop after I Book of Moon this 3300 attack point fusion monster? Peeps. What is Guardian Chimera? That is correct. I hate to... I hate to, let's just finish it out. Let's just go with 800. All right. Thank you. Judge, I don't understand why I'm getting a warning for an illegal activation. This card says I only take 2,000 damage if I fail to find a monster. Coder. What is crop circles? That is correct. Oh Where my are we going? God. Go. Uh, a thousand what? points. Judge, I've removed this malefic spell from my opponent's board, so why can't I target their field? Two, one. That is Malefic Territory. Malefic oh, that's territory. what it's fucking called. Uh, well, it's, it was the thousand for a reason. Oh, Coder. yeah, I knew that one too, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Woo. Where are Off we going? One. <laughs> anyway, well, you know where we're going. Earth that card erratas all of the fucking... It erratas all of the Malefic. Earth Machines for 200, please. Peeps, you are not in control of the board. Coder is. Oh, I'm not. I'm so... I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's true. I am. Um, I'm gonna not pick Earth Machine. Can we go? You know what? For the grace, for the might of our Lord, the Bible for 200, please. <laughs> We're doing the Bible. Originally Rage. translated as Stigmatica, this term refers to the icon which appears on the members of this archetype. Alex. What is Dogmatica? No. Coder. What is Branded? Yes. Branded. Ooh. Okay. It's weird. It was supposed to be Stigmatica and Dogmatica, and then they it's... just didn't translate the other one that way. I'll go four, please. The Duelist Genesis counter trap, The Selection, features art evoking this Christian story. Alex? What is Noah's Ark? That is correct. Finally. All right. Where are we going? All, all my all my Catholic upbringing finally coming <laughs> to fruition here. Finally, Bible I got for something for it. <laughs> Bible for six. All right. The first Dark Lord refers to the first of the angels to fall, more well-known by this seven-letter name in Christian tradition. Coder? Who is Lucifer? That is correct. 
the devil. And you're creeping nice. into first. Where are we going? All right. Give me the Bible for eight, bro, please. <laughs> for some reason, Dual Terminal is littered with references to Judaic mysticism. With the Naturia Sacred Tree, the Oracle of Zephra, and multiple Infernoid and Cleefort cards evoking this legendary tree. Peeps? Peeps. Right, taking a stab at it. What is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? <laughs> Not even remotely nope. close, oh, Alex. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What is the tree of life? That is correct. The okay. tree of life. I don't know. Wow. Uh, All right, we'll Alex, finish it off. Going? Bible for a thousand. In Psalm 74, 14, God kills this enormous sea serpent upon which ocean dragon lord Kairu Shin is based. What the fuck is a psalm? And why is there a P in there? Alex. I feel like I have to risk it. What is the Leviathan? That is correct. Leviathan. Oh my God. And you I are in first place. Okay. Suddenly this right. one's real tied up. What the fuck is a okay. song? All right. Uh, thanks, mom. Appreciate it. Frog <laughs> series ripoffs, 200. Let's go. All right, here we go. No longer content to critique from the sidelines, this now completed series starred a React Lord and his college friends. Alex? What is progression playoffs? Okay, well, yes, that is true. All right, where are we going? <laughs> Keep going, 400. Buzzed in after it was over. <laughs> I, Dude, you, I need to place my mouse, dude. This series, in which players pull every pack, every episode, got its creator a leg up over the other prog clones. Coder? What is Chaos Draft? That is correct. The progs for six, please. All right. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Pogression series was a simple cut and paste focused on the personality of this enormous YouTuber and his less famous friend. Coder? Who is Nux Taku? That is correct. 800, please. Okay, this is the daily double. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> six for six, baby. I'll do 600. S oh, you coward. Pussy. Holy shit. What did, I right. can only go up to 1,000, right? No, you can go up to the amount that you currently have. Oh my god, but like, what if I fuck up though? Like, it's yeah, that's how it works. Chance. I'll do 600. 600. All right, for 600 points, Golden Nova and recovering VTuber Noah Jank add a voting element to the progression formula in this series. I, I don't know. I don't watch their content. I have no idea. <laughs> That is progression polls. So lose six, you stinker. Uh, and I believe you're still in control of the board. So where are we going? Uh, go for 800. Wait, that was that was the one we that just was did. The, oh, that yeah, was the one. Okay, go, go, go for 1,000. Yeah. Jesse J plays and Sophie apparently's double progression trouble is notorious for one specific episode in which Sophie displays a mastery of tactics by building around this normal monster. I have a guess. There's a clue in here. Two, it's one... All right, we're calling it. Is it Bean Soldier or no? It is Moki Moki uh, Human okay, Wave Tactics was the card. <laughs> Give me the Earth Machines for two. <laughs> All right. This Pendulum Monster may be a vanilla, but that wouldn't stop Duelist from activating its effect anyway. Remember to pay eight and feel great. Peeps. What is Clifford Scout? <sighs> yes, it is. Where are we All going? All right. 400. You're just so excited for this one. Oh. Makin is not just a successful archetype, it's one of the only successful union archetypes with two total members. Gearframe and this. Peeps. Is Makin a peacekeeper? God, he's so that fast. Is correct. Holy moly, I don't know these cards. Drillroid has seen niche play in retro formats for its ability to destroy defense position monsters in this phase of the damage step. Coder? Be what is before damage calculation? That is correct. All right, where are we going? <laughs> 800, please. Oh. <laughs> Get now. Oh, well, Coder, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> I will go epic. for 600, please. Coward. Whoa, you so Dude, I don't know what machines, man. Coward. Oh. Though it hasn't seen much play since, this Link monster brought Earth Machine representation in the first TCG set to include Links. What is Clefor Genius? <laughs> no, not at all. I what is... Gaia Saber, the yeah! Lightning Shadow. That's a machine? Oh. Yeah, now you're down to uh to Simo numbers. I uh, go for a thousand, fuck it. This early Earth machine is removal. Of course, people never played it. It makes you wait two entire turns until it exacts its revenge. Two, one. That is going to be it. This is Steel Scorpion. Yeah! I thought it's, it was Blast Sphere. I thought, it, oh my I thought God. Steel Scorpion. Oh, no. I'm thinking of the fucking samurai swordsman yeah, guy. That does like distant swordsman from oh, another oh, land. Oh, yeah. No, man. no, no. The, the one that does five turns is uh, is Tainted Wisdom, no? No, no, no. no, no it's tainted it's Wisdom meter. Shuffles. You're thinking of Zone Eater, oh, too. God. Those are all the same fucking oh. cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> all right. One category left. Where are we going, Coder? Uh, 200. Jeremy Mitchell's Vanquish Soul. 
I don't know if raisins money. All right, we're gonna call it there. That would be stake your soul. Where Want are we going? It, please. Polly Aronson's bestial dragon link. Coder. What is the bestial lubellian? No. Wait, maybe. Let me check. You are correct. I will give you Let's this go. one. Let's uh, go. It did not populate. The The second place was Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon, which despite the reprint is a $50 card. I'll go for nope. a six hundred, please. Jessica Robinson's Therion Sanavalon Rika. What is triple tactics thrust? No. Oh. Two, one. Shock you didn't get it, peeps. It was no, it's Therion King oh. Regulus. Where are we going? I'll go for uh, 800, please. Lee Z's Tier Lament. Two, one. Okay, this one was easy. Come on. Primeval Planet Pellerino. Dog, that card's still expensive? I don't know the price of these cards. Every single <laughs> one know. is an in-engine card. That card Whoa, is still expensive, hell? though. I wish I would have known that. Well, it does. Okay, last one. Steven Santoli's Firewall Math Mech. Okay, this one was Talents. So the concept was they were all in-engine except for the last one, which would be difficult because the whole deck is cheap. But none of you watch Worlds. We have made it to Final Jeopardy, and ooh, boy. Uh, for the first time yet, it is not a Coder runaway. Um, yeah. We have Distant Coder at 3,000, Alex at 2,600, and Peeps at 17. So it is anyone's huh. game from this position. The Final Jeopardy category is Monarchs. Send me a point value. You will wager on this last question. And then after I get them all, I will just go ahead and... Uh, you have to do play. at least half, correct? No, you can do any number. Oh, okay. Zero. According to infallible Yu-Gi-Oh! Stats website, Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Decks, this monarch has the most total tops. You've got about a minute to think of a response. All right, peeps, you are in last place, and you have answered, what is Caius the Shadow Monarch? That is incorrect, and will drop so. you all yeah. the way to zero. Yeah, I, I, I am. I commend that Peeps went all in, like a, like a true, yeah. like it a was true. The only man. way I could, I know Coder was gonna play it safe, so I had to. But that's all right. All right, next up we have Simo in second place. Simo has twenty six hundred points and has answered, "What is our Lord and Savior, Riza the Storm Monarch?" Well, unfortunately, you should have spent more time in the Bible category. That is also incorrect and you will tried. cost you twenty six hundred points. I'm oh with you, peep. God. Yes, I'm with you, peep. Oh my God! And God. our our uh, last time champion Coder has answered, "Riza the Storm Monarch" as well, which is incorrect. The far and away most topping monarch is Mobius the Frost Monarch. Oh, he was wow. just wow. legal for longer. Wow. Okay. Uh, second place is Caius. And then we get into a weird scenario where like Erebus starts showing up. Uh, Coder has wagered 2,700. So with wow. 300 points, Coder will win his <laughs> third Yu-Gi-Oh! Jeopardy. Congrats. I genuinely, I had no idea what the answer was, and I figured the only person that had a legitimate shot at beating me here was Alex, so I just went with what I thought he would answer and just wagered a little bit less. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I was um, tempted to wager zero, too, and I should have. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. Oh, well. We did That's it for the content, for peeps. We did I, it for the oh, content. Course, for the content. Oh, Thank you to all three of you for swinging by. This was a ton of fun. This is awesome. Dude, Thank you so much. Always, Thanks always for having a fun him. time. Wait, does that mean I have to come back again? That does mean. And we got to find more people. Let me tell you, I know the next person we're bringing on, and it rhymes with. Don't bad. bring Vlad. Don't bring Vlad. We Don't bring Vlad. We got to get you the fuck out of here, buddy. We're getting you out of here. <laughs>